I swear to God, I'm sending Manchester United an invoice for my therapist after that. I've got post-traumatic stress disorder after what happened in the Europa League final. And to do that again tonight there, how the hell, first of all, did it get to extra time? My word, what were our Fords doing? I don't know where to start with the match reaction to this. Jesus H. Man United losing to Middlesbrough, knocked out of the FA Cup in the fourth round after totally dominating for 60 minutes. We could have been 3-4-5-0 up by the time that the world's most obvious handball was not given us handball. According to the new rules, they say, that's not an act. Oh, piss off. It hit his hand. If his hand wasn't there, it would have trundled off the pitch and they wouldn't have scored. That was a handball. That shouldn't have counted, but that's not the reason that United lost tonight. My word, seriously, where do you start? You start with saying, Anthony Alanga, mate, keep your chin up. It doesn't fucking matter, all right? No United fan is going to look at that and point at you for the mistakes that happened in that game because the mistakes did not come from you, son, all right? The mistakes came from a furiously misfiring attack. On paper, that team there, Bruno Fernandes and Paul Pogba with Scott McTominay as a number six, Rashford on the left, Sancho on the right, and Ronaldo up front. On paper, I felt that was Manchester United's strongest team going into that game. But my word, it looked like it as well. We were creating chances left, right and centre. Under Ralph Radnick so far, a lot of the problems really have been the fact that we haven't been creating much. Today, we couldn't create any more chances and we also couldn't miss any more. Cristiano Ronaldo missing a penalty... My word, did Cristiano Ronaldo just put in a zero out of 10? He might, he, I'll give him a one because he scored that penalty in the shootout. Jesus, what was Ronaldo doing? At, who is that? Who is that? People are going to say, ah, oh, Sam Ronaldo has put, put in stinkers. But the thing that's always saved Ronaldo is his finishing. Tonight there, nobody could finish their dinner. I don't know what, I wished, I, all I want to talk about is how superb United were for 60 minutes. Sancho, I thought he'd arrived tonight. He could have at least, at least got two assists in that first half. Rashford missing a guilt edge chance. Bruno Fernandes. Oh my God, stuff of nightmares that chance. When the ball was given to him, legitimately open goal. But, I mean, we needed a positive here to head into what is a very busy, and that's the start, the, the end of the season starts now, right? February, March, we've got Atletico Madrid in a couple of weeks. We've got... Burnley in a couple of days and we've got Southampton. But Jesus, man, what are you doing, United? Middlesbrough got played off the park for 60. It was total control. You're watching that going, wow, this is this is United. This is what I want to watch United doing against uh, lower league opposition teams at Old Trafford. Hell, I want to see United doing this to everybody at Old Trafford. But we just could not finish. Chance after chance after chance. And the finishes were off. The execution was woeful. That's got nothing to do with Ralph Ragnick. That's got nothing to do with player selection. And I'll be honest, I think he got the player selection spot on tonight. For the first 60, could he made substitutes earlier? Maybe. You think I'm going to really be talking about them in this match reaction? You're mad. I'm not speaking about any sort of individual things that Ralph could have done differently or maybe a formation switch and change. Sod that, man. We pumped Middlesbrough and we were 1-0 up because of it. It should have been 3, 4, 5-0 and that would have not... It wouldn't have flattered United that scoreline, but that goal there, legitimate. I, I don't, I'm don't, I really don't want to focus on it because it's not the reason that we just lost that game. But that is an utter farce that that wasn't given as handball. The ball had hit his. If his hand wasn't where it was, I don't care if it's accidental, if it's purposeful, if he's waving while it's happening. It hits the ball. Sorry, it hits his hand, and that stops the ball. That allows him to chip it in, and then Crooks bangs it in. It's a joke that that didn't, wasn't given. And even more of a joke that VAR said, yeah, yeah, go on in. Yeah, I'll give that. Yeah, sweet. That's fair. That's good. Fucking disgrace, man. But I'll tell you what was the ultimate disgrace was United's forwards tonight. From Bruno to Ronaldo to, Sa to Sancho. I'm not going to uh, use in that category. I thought Sancho was the standout performer. Uh, 8.1 they've given him here. And I think that Sancho, for me, was my man of the match. I thought he was excellent. And I thought he deserved the credits and the plaudits he got. He should have been taken off a little bit earlier, though. Definitely. I think he looked like that niggle was coming up there. But the chances we had. What are you doing, United, man? You've had two weeks off. Jesus, some of you went to Dubai. You had a whole week to do whatever the hell you wanted. Don't try and tell me you're not rested. Don't try and tell me you've, ah, you're out of practice. Shit. You're professional players, man. How, how was our finishing 
that abysmal. And I swear to God, I never want to see a penalty shootout ever again. United have lost seven of our last eight penalty shootouts. We had to concede 11 against Villarreal in Sevilla. Was it in Sevilla? I don't know where the hell it was. I think it was in Sevilla. I was in Gdansk, wasn't it? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And then eight, nine. What, what were they playing? So bad. What are you doing? What are their centre-backs doing? Hitting the roof of the net with a penalty. I'm like, oh, my God. Dean Henderson, could he have done better on a few of those penalties? Yeah, sure, he could have done. But the penalty quality there from both teams for the first five, six, seven was just insane. And I really feel for Anthony Langer that he's the man who missed the penalty, but he's not the man who should be getting the fingers pointed at him in any way, shape or form. But Manchester United's forwards to do that tonight. Wow, man. What are you getting paid for? Like, what, 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 you are a legit, what is your job? Your job is to score goals. You kick a ball in the net five days a week in training. How is it that hard when it comes to the game? And maybe, maybe I'm being unfair here, but I do not think I'm being unfair at all. Bruno, that miss from Bruno, that's going to haunt my nightmares tonight. But not just that miss from Bruno, the misses from Rashford, the miss from Bruno, other misses from Ronaldo, the miss from Elanga right at the end. Jeez, man. You're talking about, we're not just talking about half chances here. We're talking about five or six guilt-edged golden opportunities that United should have scored and it should have been dead and buried. By the time that stupid goal went in for Middlesbrough, that should have been nothing more than a consolation goal for a team that got pumped, steamrolled, Blown away by United for 60 minutes. But if you're looking at the first 60 minutes as a time when Manchester United blew them away, the second 60 minutes, Manchester United were blown away. I don't know what happened there. Something has to be spoken about there. What changed? What flipped? What switched? What was it? Were we switching off? Did we run out of energy? Was it complacency? Was it tactical? What the hell happened in the second 60 minutes compared to that first 60 minutes? Maybe it was just Middlesbrough starting to feel, you know what? They've had all these chances. Maybe we do have a chance. And they started to come into the game. But look at these, man. Look at that. You scroll up there. You can watch the game. Oh, let me just scroll up and read the penalties. No, I've still, I've still got to keep scrolling. Still got to keep scrolling. Ridiculous. 9-8 they won. My God. I hate penalty shootouts. I never want to see another one again. And we deserve to go out by the end of it. You cannot say that a team that has that many chances, this is that many opportunities... Deserves to win. I mean, on paper, yes, we have way more opportunities. Blah, blah, blah. We dominated the game. But shit, man, you don't take chances in football. You're going to get punished. We got punished by a ridiculous decision, right? We know that. It's controversy. But the real controversial topic of tonight is not that VAR. It's how the hell did we miss that on that many chances? For so often under Ragnick so far, it's been... Uh, been an element of control, but no, not really that much creativity. Paul Pogba, it's taken me for eight minutes to really mention how much of a difference I felt Paul Pogba made in the middle. I think uh, he was pretty damn good. Paul Pogba, the link-up play between Pogba, Fernandes, Rashford and Sancho was exquisite at times. One-touch football, excellent from United in the first 60. But it's just all swept under the carpet. No one's really going to talk about it. No one's really going to remember it. Because the ultimate frustration is that. Absolute smack in the face with a cricket bat. And I don't know. Jeez, uh, oh, man. Wow. Yeah, as I said, Pogba brought in instead of Fred, and we had a bit more um, confidence in the build-up, a bit more variety and quality in the build-up, a bit more confidence in possession. It, it looked good. I liked how United played for 60 minutes, and then all of a sudden it was boom. Someone turned the lights off, and then Middlesbrough started creeping in, creeping in. They got their moment, and from then on, United still had opportunities, but we couldn't hit a barn door. We really couldn't. I'm surprised that we scored that many that many penalties, by the way. And you know, it really annoys me. One thing, Harry Maguire, mate, can you not just like score ahead? You score penalties like you are Zico. Can you just please go and score ahead from a corner? 120 fucking three that we haven't scored from this season. Oh, the thing that's really annoying me, I believe, I, I, we the second half against Brentford, the whole game against West Ham, and that first sixty. We were stepping on the ladder. We were going up. We were getting better and better. And I was, I was starting to feel like I was enjoying watching United and what was happening under Ragnick. And boom, the winds just changed direction. All of a sudden, the tide's going out again. And the conversation changes. The narrative changes when we should have been focusing on the great stuff that Sancho did, the great stuff and the impact that Pogba had. Instead, we're talking about a team that was misfiring with its finishing. Creating plenty, but woeful League One finishing. Hell, you didn't get relegated from League One with that finishing. And then a penalty shootout. I never want to see another penalty in my entire life again.
I'd be happy if United never get one and never have to face one ever again. I've got post-traumatic stress disorder from that. We're out of the FA Cup. What questions are you asking?